Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our reflection on the Psalms of Orthodox Christian liturgical worship with a meditation on Psalm 140, what, or the Psalm that we've been working with for quite some time now. And I think today we'll conclude with the actual Psalm itself. It won't be the last time we discuss the Psalm, but at least today will be the last new verses that we will be reflecting on. And so we've been talking about how we're called to live righteously, how we're called to find a righteous person to guide us along the way while being mindful not to allow ourselves to be in communion or enter into union with those who live unrighteously, who are sin sinners, so to speak, who do not live in accordance with the divine will of God, which is something that we are all tempted into, a way of life that we are all tempted to fall into. And in the, the service that begins the new day, immediately we are reminded of the need to be mindful of how we are living our lives. That is what this psalm can teach us in its location within the service. Now, we'll continue where we, we've, we mentioned these verses that uh, we'll be reflecting on today in the previous reflection. But uh, today we'll actually go over them. So going from verse 9. For unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, are my eyes. In thee have I hoped. Take not my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinner shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. So this is a reminder again. We started off by saying, again, we were calling out to God to hear our prayer. We started off by saying that. And then we were talking about ways in which we are called to live live and, and be in relationship with God, of course, and find a, a guide, a teacher to teach us in the righteous way of life, even if it means for us to be reproved, to be scolded, to be critically spoken to, to so that we can root out those things that are keeping us from living righteously and to purposefully avoid those who are unrighteous and not live with them. And in the midst of all this, we are reminded to have our eyes forever fixed upon the Lord. And I think that's an, an important thing that we can forget, that we aren't fighting against sin blindly. We aren't fighting against unrighteousness on our own. Even with, when we have someone else, we can sometimes feel like we're just fighting against this thing that is sinfulness and unrighteousness and ways of life that we don't want to be living. But what we are doing really is orienting ourselves, fixing our eyes on God. And in the midst of that relationship, God will provide us the growth that we need. God will provide us the strength that we need to amend the way that we're living our lives so that we can live in greater and greater, in accordance in a greater and greater way with how God wants us to be, how God wants us to live our lives who God wants us to be. And we have to have hope in God. Hope that when we call upon him, he will hear us in the midst of this struggle to find a righteous to find righteousness and to avoid unrighteousness, that he will be there and he won't take our souls away, that he won't make it so that we are no longer here fighting this fight, being in this dynamic relationship, this relationship of love, this synergistic relationship, we need to live this way. And in the midst of that, also that we pray that God, we hope, we, we hope and pray that God will be there to keep us from the snares which those people that are unrighteous have laid for us, or the wicked one, the evil one has laid for us. And, and those things that will be stumbling blocks to our growth in, in our relationship with Christ, in our growth into our, an authentic expression of who we are. We, we are not just trying to do this haphazardly. We're not just trying to will ourselves into it. But we understand that it is in relationship to God that this is happening. So as we are considering in the new day how we want to live the type of life that we want to live, we are also reminding ourselves that we don't live this in a vacuum, but in the real and, and synergistic relationship that we have with our God who loves us and is guiding us and is protecting us. 
And then those who will do wrong and those who try to entrap us, whether it's a, a, a person or, or a group or a, a, the, to be honest, the, the, those powers of, of the darkness that are against us, that, are, that want to see us stumble, we hope that they will fall into their own nets and we alone, not caught up with them, will pass by. We'll be able to make it through those trials that will beset us in the coming day. And I think that's what's really important. Uh, and we'll talk more about this in our broader discussion in the next reflection on this psalm. We need to do this at every moment. Every day we ought to be starting out with this remembrance to call upon God, to know that God will hope that God will hear us when we call to him, that we will find those people who we can follow because they're righteous and they can teach us in a stern way or a gentle way, however we need, how to be in relationship with God, how to grow spiritually and to intentionally in from the very beginning of the day, not associate those with those people who will lead us away from God because of their own unrighteousness or become ourselves unrighteous in the way that we live and act in the midst of the world. This is how we start the day. And, and if we can start each day with this understanding, with a commitment to live in this way, with our eyes fixed on the Lord, we will come to realize that all of those things that keep us from him, all of those things that prevent us from being authentically ourselves, all of those things that, that would lead us to unrighteousness will fall by the wayside because we are only oriented towards our God. And that's the way that we ought to be. So as we go out, consider ways in which you can be intentional about, about this way of life. Find someone who you can learn from. Figure out who in your life are perhaps people that you ought not to learn from. And these don't have to be actual relations, but they could also be figures that we, that we hear from on a regular basis. How, much, how, how many times are we led astray by the things that people we don't personally know but we follow on social media or, uh, or, or in the news or news agencies or, or, or things like that. How often are we led astray to ways that are unrighteous when we, really, when we really think about it, are ways that are unrighteous? And then how do we, instead of being torn aside by one way or another by politics, uh, by the, the, the happenings of the world, how do we instead focus solely on God and allow our faith, our love, our trust in God to guide us rather than those things that are unrighteous? And, the, and think in the, in the coming days about how you might do that every day with intention. In the meantime, God bless you. I hope you're doing well. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, send us a message on social media. Leave us a note in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Have a beautiful rest of your week, and we look forward to uh, many, many more opportunities to, to relate to one another. God bless you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.